So for fixing your credit, would you say, what happens if you don't invest in improving your credit or is there a better way to phrase that? I, I would, I would, because investing in improving your credit, nobody wants to invest in improving their credit, right? That's the sale. What's the outcome of improving your credit, okay? And Wendell, we could spend some time on a private and go through this. I, somebody else, I'm, I, I'm hoping you guys can pitch in. Here's what comes to the top of my head, right? Well, just out of curiosity, so if, if we don't fix this now, what happens if you wanna buy a home or what happens when your lease is up on your apartment? Are you aware that on renewals now, they are pulling credit? So what happens if you wanna renew your lease and you don't qualify under the new circumstances or you wanna move? Cause you need to get a more affordable place or maybe you wanna get a better place. What happens if you need to get a new vehicle and then let the, don't answer the question for them. Let them sit with that answer because I guarantee you with improving credit, everybody needs to do it, right? I would do it if my credit was bad, which it's not, but if it was, I would freak out about it. But until somebody made me sit with the pain of not changing because improving my credit, there's no benefit. I don't get to eat any ice cream in that, right? There's no cool, funky dashboard. There's no benefit to me doing that. So you need to talk to me about the outcomes, the actual outcomes. W what happens when, if you guys need to move, right? Well, I, I mean, I guess till I prove my credit, I really can't move, but you know, we're in this apartment, got it. You know, something that I'm seeing that a lot of people aren't aware of is with lease renewals, a lot of management companies in apartment communities, they're rerunning credit at the renewal time as if you were newly renting the apartment. So it's not a guarantee that you can stay in there. What is your plan if for some reason they won't renew your lease? Let them sit with that. Now, does anybody else have anything for Wendell? I'm not an expert on credit, um, but those would be some things that I'm, I'm getting anxiety thinking about that right now. And again, we don't wanna be manipulative, but you have to have them sit with that because if they make a bad decision and don't buy your product or your service and they feel a lot of pain in their life for not making that decision, for not improving their payment velocity at their medical practice and they've got to fire Susan who's worked there for 35 years, you own part of the blame. I'm not saying you own all of the blame, but you own part of the blame for not scheduling that, for not making sure it got in front of the board, right? It's not, the, the risk is not just us losing a sale, it's them not being able to improve their life. And if you're not working for a company or selling a product where you deeply are sold that this improves people's life, might be a good idea for you to look at getting a different job. Because I think everybody on this call is like, man, everybody should, I believe that everybody should have my sales training. And if they don't get it, that's on me. That's my fault, not theirs.